Welcome back. So for for the um what is the name of this sleeve now? Let's say let's give it a cap is a cap standing a structured cap sleeve. Okay. So now I, this is the um, ST interface I'll be using. This is the paper one. This is the regulin bony, and then this is the um, door face um, satin door face lining that I will use to line the. You can see that's what I use on this part of the dress. So now. I want to measure the sleeve so in order for you to before you proceed what you need to do first is for you to I uh, measure the sleeve right I want to stop here because this is where my lining starts from okay so what I will just start so that I'll be able to use lining to to turn the armhole okay so I will measure from here to here so this is about six inches okay so this is six inches so that's what I will use. But if you want it to get to your armhole, just measure around to your armhole. So that's fine. Okay. So right after having done that, so what you do now, you get your pattern paper. And this is my pattern paper. So this is what I'm doing now. I This is my armhole curve. So I want to get my armhole, the six inches. So what I am doing now is just to use, because this is what I use in creating my armhole curve. This just gives you the stress of curving, curving when you're using freehand. So now I'll mark my six inches or six and a half. So I'll just measure my six inches. I think it's six inches I used. So this is six inches. Okay. And then I'll come over here and I'll extend, draw a straight line. Right. So now the height of the sleeve, you know, it's not curvy, it's not pointy, it's round. So the height, that that um, tip, that shoulder part is where you have, uh, you have the longest measurement. So the height is five inches. I'm doing five inches. I don't want it to be too pointy. Okay. So from these five inches now, I will connect to my armhole. Can you see what I have? So. So can you see so this is let me see what i have okay let me just extend it make it let me make it 6.5 okay and you can now erase the old one so this you can see that this part is not pointy so you don't need it all pointy if it's pointy we'll adjust it on our fabric so this is what i will cut Okay, so I have to label armhole. So you don't mistake this part for your armhole. Okay, and then this is up. Place this now on my fabric. Okay, so I'll use this to cut the lining. I'll add my so I'll add my interface. I'll cut two. So I'll be using this as the an underlay for this. Okay, so this will be the main fabric. I will cut one and then I'll cut another one as lining. So for each sleeve, you have two of these and one of these. Just fold it at once. Get your two. You can cut fold two, two. So what very, very important. All you need to do is remember to add seam allowance. Okay. So now this part should be on fold. So can you see? So this is the part that should be on fold. Is enough for me. So I'll pin it down. I'll pin it down. So after pinning, so now I would like to add my seam allowance. That's zero point five. So and then you repeat the same. So this. Can you see now? I have two, so this will serve as my main fabric. So I will use this to cut the lace before, but before cutting, I will fold this again and cut it and cut, I cut another two. So the other two I will cut will be my lining that's what I use to turn it over, okay? So and I'll iron um ST on this, I'll iron this paper ST interface, I'll iron on this, and I'll iron on the lining too. So you're ironing on both sides, not just on one side. So you use this. 
remember remember this is our armhole so i will notch this part as my shoulder so this is my armhole so i cover it it's, it's not straight you don't need to have it pointy it's not a pointy pointed whatever so you can see how curvy it is so now after ironing my my st on it my interface on it so what i'll do i'll, I'll mark 0 0.5 inch that's 0 0.5 inch allowance to add it so that's what i will mark so i'll mark it this way and then i'll mark here also so this place is not even necessary because because um this is the father will go by this place, so you don't need it here so i'll mark it i'll mark the same i'll repeat the same thing to this also so that's I, like i said after ironing your interface remember to notch remember to notch your tip and then remember this is your armhole this is the part that will go over your arm why this is the is the sleeve the one that will be outside so after iron your interface then you now mark your 0 0.5 then you can now start sewing you see how it is it should not it shouldn't be like this it should be facing you so this can be a bit stressful a bit difficult but it's doable right because it's not straight so when then when you get to this midpoint here you might have issues covering it so what you do you will cut after cutting and then you place it again and then continue on this side then you repeat the same to the other sleeve so remember but before you do this remember to cut your lining and then cut your main fabric okay so i'll show you the one that i've done okay so this is the one i've done so you can see this is the lining and this is the main fab this is the lace and the on the underlay so the underlay what i use i use the same fabric like i, I explained earlier i use right? and i sew the bone now i sew the bone in first on this um lining i sew the bone in first before joining it together with the lace so you you first of all sew the bone in like i explained and then before you secure so that the reason why you create um that 0 0.5 you start your your attaching your bone from the 0 0.5 so that you have space to sew your to to sew the edge okay if you start from here you won't be able to sew and uh, use your lining to turn it so if you want to be able to turn with lining you should be uh, you should sew 0 0.5 you should sew your body before 0 0.5 like i said you can see how it is now it's not straight it's a bit um because this curve and it's a curve it it it, it would be a, a bit difficult right so what i did now i stopped here you can see I stopped here and then I took another bone and overlay it, I overlap it and I started sewing. Okay, you see I did several stitches because it keep my need the thread keep going out of the needle because it's it's hard, right? So after doing that, then I now took my lace and I sew, then I sewn. So now even before you don't even have to even iron because it will give you the curve without ironing on anything. That's if you place it well. Like I said, if you place it well, you get the right curve. You can see how it is. Can you see? It's already giving us the curve already. So by the time I fix now, so this is going to be. So I will go and fix it and then I will show you how it looks like. Can you see how it is? But before you fix, remember to not. So what I will do, I will secure this part with, um, I will secure it with a stitch. I will hold it down. Remember, this is my center front. This is the center part. I already notched it. Let me just notch it one more time. So I already notch it. So after securing and notch, so this is the other sleeve. You can see both of them. So you see, it's not pointy; it's curvy. Your own yours shouldn't point. So now, what? Um, this is how to attach to the sleeve. So now after securing, this is the center from the part you notch. Shoulder. So you place it this way, and then you pin, and you start sewing. See where it ends. It didn't get to my armhole. It's not meant to get to your armhole. Please don't make sure your bone it doesn't get to this end point, so you'll be able to sew. See where my bone is stops. If it gets to this point, you'll be able to sew it. Okay, so I'll do the same. You can see. So this is where my end. Can you see? And this is where my bony end. So what I'll do now, I'll use the lining to turn this other part. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I'll go and sew, and I will show you. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so it's necessary please help me get to 2000 subscribers i'm almost there i just need some few more subscribes to get to 2000 thank you okay welcome back so this is what i've done 
so you can see how it is so now if you have bead you can now start attaching your bead right i'm not doing beading for this it's it's a serious work i don't have that the time for that right now so you can just go ahead and attach your beading your beads okay so now you can see how curve it is see the inside see how it is it's standing right well okay so this is the inside so i use the lining to cover to conceal the the left the remaining parts of the sleeve like the armhole the bottom part the bust line so now what i'll do now is i will take to my saja overlock machine overlocking machine i'll overlock it right after overlocking so this is how it's going to be after overlocking i will now push it in you see if you overlock it you, you still be seeing the edges but you're not meant to see the edge so so this is what i do to all my lace and um, dresses whenever i fix my sleeve i don't just leave it like that whether you weave or not so what i do is i'll push it inside attach push it towards the sleeve and then i'll start um, tacking neatly you tack with needle and thread you tack neatly so that after tacking it's going to look like this can you see it so it's going to look like this well finished and neat okay so i repeated the same thing to this side so this is how it is okay so thank you so much for watching please do well to subscribe like and share with friends thank you so much